Hello everyone, my name is Andres Diaz, me and Will are back again for another spectacular Marvel Plus talk. Today we're going to discuss, and uh, a heads up, spoiler cast on Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. So, Will, how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Uh, very good. Besides the allergies and the tentacle difficulties of recording. <laughs> Uh, so, but, yeah, so, uh, uh, so, we're here today for our first Marvel Phase 4, uh, for this year, 2022, uh, Doctor Strange 2, uh, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, just overall opinion, what you thought about, you know, Doctor Strange 2, uh, is it your, is it the best film, or is it low tier or mid tier, well, what's your thoughts? Uh, it's low tier for me, I did not oh. enjoy it. There were parts that I liked, but I think overall I left uh, disappointed. Wow, really? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll get into that. Mm -hmm. Um. So my thoughts. I just fresh of seeing it like well a couple hours ago after three. Um, I think it is very good. I think it's um more fun than the first Doctor Strange film. I think has its problems, uh we'll we'll discuss. Um I will to I will want to get to this part that I think this is the most director driven MCU film we've seen so far. You know, yes, we got, you know, James Gunn, um Josh Wigan and then of course Tech Watiti, but this is fully Sam Raimi and I was I really appreciate that. You know, uh, with the zooms, and then, you know, the humor is very much like Sam Raimi. Like, it, it felt like a 2000, like, superior film that we usually get with him, with the Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire. And, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was really good. Um, my issue is, it's just that I, I, I think it was just expectations was too high for this. And I blame for No Way Home for that, so... That's, that's where I'm well, at. Well, is it because No Way Home was a good movie? <laughs> or I, I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm very different. I, I think I like Spider-Man No Way Home, but I don't, I, I don't highly regard it like a lot of people do. Like, yeah, I, 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 I think, yeah. I mean, I think I'm the same way, but I still left the theater being like, oh, this was so cool. Where is this? I left it, and I was like, I wish that was different. <laughs> like, yeah. I I don't know. Like and it wasn't that I had expectations going in. Like yeah. that that's not the part that mm. Yeah, I I I I personally for me I think it was just the title. I I think it it we'll get into if it's like a horror film or not, which I I think it had a very like what what's the word? Like a cob feel to it. And like there were scary moments. Um, when we can, <laughs> yeah, when we get into like, I don't know if you you got scared. Like I actually had like a jump scare when Wanda just came out of nowhere and down to the cellar. They were going to get the book of uh, Fashanti. Yeah, and, yeah, that I, far I was. Yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I don't think I had any like jump scare moments. Um, the the first Illuminati death really messed me up that was the, <laughs> the only time where i was like uh no thank you oh uh, really I, yeah no I, like like it was well done it's just like that's okay. like the exact type of horror that really gets to me uh mm. so i i thought it was done well um right right that was the only time where i felt like scared yeah that's that's very true um yeah let's um okay so there's just um i, I guess we'll get into um do you think this is a Doctor Strange film. Let's get into that uh, question. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would say so. Like, okay. He's pretty central to it, as you would hope for a Doctor <laughs> Strange movie. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, Wanda and America got a lot of the, like, plot, like, elements. Like, they were more central than Doctor Strange was, but I feel like 
he had um, a like I, I think he and Wanda had like the central character arcs and I think his was the one that was executed well. So okay. uh yeah. I you know. Okay. Um I I think people like before the film I heard like just the non spoiler thoughts that they thought this was more like a Wanda movie <laughs> than a Doctor Strange film. I could see that. I I think it tried to be more of a Wanda movie. I, I, I my my biggest gripe with the film is how they handled Wanda, so I don't want to like get into it right now. But Yes. Uh um yeah, that that was one I was very curious about, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we'll we'll get to that. I I have questions about the dark hole. That's like the other one. Well, yeah, yeah. no, we'll get into it. it yeah, was... so let's let's stay let's stay positive. Then we'll get into negatives or Nick picks. Um, I I want to say I think the performances were very good. I really enjoy Ben the Cumberbatch uh, performance this time. Um, I will say I think the 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 MVP of this movie is Elizabeth Olsen, aka That'll Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Yes, she, easily the best performance. Even if I didn't like what they did with the character, her yeah. performance phenomenal. Yes, yeah. I mean it's it, it be out like like I mean this movie doesn't be out one division, but like I think the performance be out beats out her performance there. I I just. I, I just um she just she just brought it all like I was so happy to see her in a costume I was so happy she was you know badass and you know uh <laughs> and then the moments when she was very like terrifying it was mm -hmm. really terrifying I was like oh my god she is just I I I, I don't know if you have this but I think she's one of the best MCU villain I I definitely put her at six for me uh. um just in my opinion. Just saying. Yeah, it's hard for me to separate out like how she served as a villain in the movie and how I'd feel about like her overall character. I think yeah. I could probably agree with that if I like divorced those two things. Yes, I agree. Um, um yeah, I'd want to think about it more, but Yeah. I I I think well the reason why is because here's the thing. I, I don't know what was the initial plan for this film before we got Sam Remy. And, you know, I don't know if Derrickson was going to do Nightmare as a villain or whoever was the villain for this initial concept. But I think just having Wanda here just made it easier. We didn't have to deal with, like, some of the problems that some of the MCU villains have. Like, 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 like I, I, I think it was. I, I appreciated that. Okay, I know this character. I don't need to do like a re, like a reintroduction, or like you had to introduce this character and then like spill expedition and all that. You know, well, like, well, hmm. well, well, like if you saw one division, like they do no, it. But, like, no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> no, they but, skipped the. But I, I think the main problem that this film has is that they don't show Wanda and her like turn. Oh yes, uh, like, we'll, we'll so it's it's missing that exposition that it would need to make her okay like, exceptional. Like mm -hmm. the the biggest frustration is that on screen, the last time we saw her, she's remorseful for Westview, and she's yes. leaving, but being painted as, like, a sympathetic victim. Like, uh, like her yeah. grief overtook her, but she's fine now. Like, she's going to heal. That's the last time we saw her. And then we yeah. immediately get here that her grief completely overtook her the dark the dark hold corrupted her and now she's evil right you've skipped the actual turn which is the like interesting part like that's the mm. part that would like really get us like behind her being the villain is if we see that fall from grace but it happens off screen 
Yeah. And then, like, it's, like, extra bad because it's a character that we've, like, known for a long time as a hero. Like, I loved Wanda, and WandaVision was phenomenal. Yes. And I really wanted to, like, continue her character arc. And then, like, I even, like, just the story beats in this movie, if they had been executed well, I would have loved it. But instead, they skipped over the central part that, like, makes me care about her, like, becoming a villain and, like, turning uh-huh. from that, like, redemptive uh, arc redemptive at the arc. end of WandaVision. Yeah. And by skipping over that, I'm just constantly watching this movie frustrated that this character that I like is doing these horrible things and I don't know exactly why. They give like the like briefest of lip service to the Darkhold corrupting her, but they don't actually show it doing that at all. They just uh-huh. say it. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, I, I was going to ask you that. We need to see that with Harkness in one division and I just wonder if they're like 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 uh, like my problem like I agree with you will this is so- something a common problem with the MCU is like we don't see the important character development is always we see it behind the scenes or like afterwards like we didn't see the proper like fix of the Steve and Tony relationship during the 5 year gap between you know the the blip in Avengers Endgame it's like okay, they mm-hmm. settle down their, you know, their differences after you know because of the civil the civil war, in this, uh, in this, right? And here I agree, and that's that's actually my biggest complaint about this film is it's not only that you're talking about, it's also other things like I can't believe that, um like uh you know uh Master Mordor like apparently Strange and him are fighting. Like he's trying to kill Strange after the first Doctor Strange film, and I'm like, really? Like, couldn't we save that for the next film? Because I like the post credits in the first Doctor Strange film, but now it's like, oh, we're not gonna pay that off, probably not <laughs> at all. Yeah, it, like you know, I it's it's weird that they end the first movie with there being like a handful of sorcerers left, and then there's this one guy who's gonna who's like gonna make it his mission to track down all of the remaining magic users and kill them and then in universe what what is it like eight years pass and yeah not only has he not killed any of the sorcerers but there's like an entire school of them at karmatash yeah <laughs> and yeah and, 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 and like, like the, the scarlet witch is loose and he's nowhere to be seen like the I, most dangerous magic user is loose, and he's I know. nowhere. Yeah, that that's like like ridiculous. I I just feel like there's a lot of backpedaling with this character, Doctor Strange, in his universe. Like, um, I don't mm-hmm. want to get into the post credit scene, but I was very shocked that we got Clea and it was mm-hmm. a different actress because initially I thought. And oh, I forgot to tell this to my friend Kristen. But maybe she she knew. It. I, I I gave a clear idea. Like I was talking to my friends today, because uh, you know we got to the you know the mid credit scene about Clea telling Doctor Strange about you know the conver- uh conversion mm-hmm. in the dark dimension. And of course, I knew that was Clea. And um, of course, Charlie Theon, uh, Theon is in the MCU now, which is great. But I was very disappointed that I thought. Rachel uh, McAdams, who played Kristen Palmer, could have been a variant of a Kristen Palmer that's going to be maybe Clea. And mm. I thought we're going to do that in this film. Maybe that's why I thought that's why they didn't introduce Clea. Uh, but no, it, it it seemed like they wanted a bigger actor for Clea, <laughs> and I was like, oh wow. So like I I was I was just like shocked. Uh, and then, and then, like I, I had, to, I had to be honest with you. Why we need Master Mordo? Like, it could have been awesome to have Clea as the master there. Mm-hmm. So you, you could have because um, I, I will say I think the mid credit scenes are getting worse. And this was like, like bam and bam. Oh, Doctor Strange, I'm Clea. 
I you caused the conversion and she mm-hmm. opened the portal to the dark dimension. It was like a five minute bam 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 mid credit scene. I was like so shocked we didn't took our time. Like mm-hmm. I just like my 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 friend uh, Miss Flamingo, another uh, YouTuber you can check out um, for the MK Productions. Like she mentioned that she doesn't like now that we're expanding the universe, but I I feel like we need to consolidate what's going on for phase four because i feel like we're doing too much and we're not building to anything like it's so mm-hmm. fractured and yes. I, I i i think that's one of the worst aspect about this film is like where we're doing really with the multiverse stuff you know mm-hmm. um but yeah yeah um okay let's <laughs> let's stay positive um what was like like what, what was the best thing about this film for you like for me i really enjoy the action scenes i felt this film didn't feel like a typical mcu like the coloring of the like the cinematography was great it was like the colors were pop and i really enjoyed the magic this time around um like i i will say my favorite scene was the uh, musical fight which was really great that was great yeah Oh my god, it it was totally Legion level. Like I, I I couldn't see that in Legion or or even Moon Knight maybe, but I I just love it. And and Xavier getting into Wanda's head like that reminded me of Legion the most with the white screen and the mm-hmm. door open. Oh my god, oh my god, I just um I Raimi's still great. I I think Raimi did such a good job of doing visually telling like i love how xavier took strange to the the memory of hit this ver their version of strange like what happened and like how he was corrupted the dark hole like that scene was fantastic and the way we transitioned in and out that was really great and i just i i just love the the creativity we did with this film compared to the first film yeah, it did feel a lot more uh, creative, which I appreciated. The, the first one had, like, some of the trippy visuals, but was ultimately pretty, like, cookie-cutter Marvel. Yeah. Whereas this one did feel a little different. Um, yeah. Some of Sam Raimi's uh, visual flair I, I didn't like. Oh, really? Which, which Although, one? like... The fades and stuff. Um, oh, like like when it first started happening, I was like, "Oh, this doesn't feel like a Marvel movie," and I was like enjoying the novelty of it. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> then I just I don't know. Different doesn't mean good. Yeah, it just it, it looks really like. Um, I don't know. Like, I, like it, earlier, you said it felt like a, a 2000 superhero movie. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's a good thing. Um. Well, I, I. It depends on how I take it. I, I take it positively because yeah. I. There are certain things I like about this film that did that I don't like. We've, we've kind of forgotten in superhero films in general, like. I like that we see a lot of people in the ground. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that was something that I didn't like about the Russo Brothers and the Finney War. And especially yeah, all the streets Anchor. are empty. Yeah. yeah. And, no, I, I agree. I liked the, the opening fight after the wedding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually really feeling the movie until... Uh, um, until they started, like universe jumping or maybe until the illuminati oh wow really okay i i think i i got to the movie when uh scar witch came in and i was like like the same one is like oh he didn't mention america and my whole audience like oh (laughs) you never laughing like we do like uh yeah and i i just i i i I just is so, just like the, uh, the pacing. We'll get into like I enjoy the pacing in the first act, 
but then it got really sped up in the last sec, and I, I don't think that really worked its favor. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, I, yeah, the, the, I, I, that moment when I saw Scar Witch, I, I was like, okay, th we're going somewhere from here, and I, I wasn't s expecting Scar Witch to be the villain. Like that was the thing. I was like, yeah, I wasn't either. Um, yeah, um, and again, like. I think if they had, like, taken the time to establish that as, like, a reasonable thing for her character arc, it would have been good. Like, you could have the exact same plot points of this movie, but have yeah. it, like, just, like, executed a little differently, and I would have loved it. But yeah. It, everything felt very, like, sloppy and like tell don't show and it made me it like really it made, made everything fall apart yeah it's like <laughs> oh wow it, it, uh, this yeah. movie felt very messy well yes i we can maybe get into now like slowly into the nitpicks and and negatives um but let's kind of get into the part where um i think COVID definitely hurt this film like this was supposed to be the first like not i mean black widow was the first but like i feel like this was the next thing we had to see before no way home and i i uh one of my friends today uh chris uh, of course um uh he text uh, we were texting about our excitement to see the film today uh this week um he uh, he asked me if the uh that they connected to no way home and i vaguely say like i heard from my other friends from like a non spoiler way like it didn't. Um, it was an a, ma a major factor in the film, which I was kind of shocked. And and they just play it as a joke, which is you know typical MCU way. Um, I feel like there were just a lot of backpedaling and just restructuring this film from a perspective from the films that we got or the TV shows before it. And like, 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 you know, like the multiverse started with, you know, Loki, and like, I was surprised we didn't throw the word variant in this movie. Like, oh, or maybe I, I heard it, but I maybe I didn't catch it the first time. Like, they didn't say, oh, you're a variant strange from another world. Like, like Loki, there was the, the Loki set up this, like, for back, um, back cover, uh, was it like back covery? words for like multiverse like okay these mm -hmm. multiple versions of loki's or variant loki right like sylvie mm -hmm. is a variant and then you know and but we didn't get that in this movie i was like kind of confused why and especially if the sorcerers know about the multiverse like like should you know about your terminology and all that right like, and and just like from a storing t storytelling perspective it makes sense to have the terminology be consistent from property to property so people aren't confused yeah, yeah. and then you know we, and then another one i will say if you knew if scar witch was going to be the main villain and if you wanted to play up the dark hole like we should have like i think they should have not used the mystery box on the villains of the first year of the Disney Plus shows because like you did not see Harkness being this crazy when she like when she possessed the dark hold before Wanda took it away from her. Mm -hmm. Like I, I didn't get a sense of that. Like I, I'm kinda of thankful I saw Agents of Seal that the Dark Heart can do that, you know? Right, yeah. And it's like okay but like that doesn't line up i was like where do you get this whole obsession for like i uh, or hopefully we get maybe explanation why the dark hole didn't control strongly with harkness than wanda did like but we'll, well see. I, I don't know they, they didn't explain what the dark hold was doing to wanda enough i think mm -hmm. yeah it's like watching the movie you can be like oh man like made her cave to her id or something like it's it's either it like 
enhanced something evil that was already there or uh-huh. it like completely took her over and they don't say where on that spectrum it is they're just like oh yeah wanda's evil because of this and that's it yeah uh, and, like yeah yeah and like and, and well and then the weird thing is the book gets destroyed and you don't get a sense it wasn't like an entity like it wasn't like the uh like it's kind of funny uh with sam raimi like it wasn't like the evil death films where the necro nopignic book like is a ra- thank you like like that like you get a sense of that is like a, a evil spirit inside of, of a thing and like it's alive mm-hmm. And I didn't get a sense of that at all with the the dark hole. It just felt like, oh, it just gave her so much if, information, and she's like becoming obsessed of trying to get her sons. And it, it's like it felt more like that. Like it didn't feel like the book was giving her this dark ideas and all that. You know? Right. Yeah. But then they didn't like spend screen time exploring that. No, they didn't. They just kind of said it and we were supposed to just accept it yes. except that this character that we've been watching for seven years now just turned like that um, yeah i um so let, let's get let, let's discuss about wanda and like that whole thing because that's like we need to get to that and then we get to the other stuff like let's do that because i i knew i was worried about if they're gonna make her a villain and like, cause I thought the the post credit scene of One Division, the last one, mm-hmm. afterwards, like she was reading the Dark Hold, and then you hear the you know the the sons, you know Billy and Tommy, mm-hmm. screaming at her, and I thought maybe she was trying to, like, that was maybe a hint that maybe they were alive in another dimension, and probably she wants to rescue them, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And. I thought maybe in this movie we could probably have a variant Scarlet Witch that was evil, and that the other Scarlet Witch we have was the good one, but she maybe was was trapped or captured by the you know the variant Scarlet Witch. I thought maybe they could have gone that way, but they didn't. <laughs> and I I just I I, I feel like like it, the post credit scene lines up to this movie, but then. It's like you, you, you know, you you mentioned it up before. Will it's like, well, we didn't see the whole transformation of her being exactly. evil, yeah. You know, and and then yeah. it's, it's and then it's like how many like it, they they did say six months, right? Or how many months since the the Westview uh, mm-hmm. accident? So yeah, so yeah, I yeah I agree. Like the the post credit scene from Wandavision could be used to get us to uh where she is at the beginning of this movie but they're missing yeah. that important scene that like confirms and explains uh mm-hmm. the dark holds like corruption of her yeah i wish we have harkness in this movie i really do i feel like if you had a master millipedeur that was controlling wanda and wanda didn't know that harkness tricked her and like she actually got the Scarlet Witch magic, but she did it in a different way, you know? Mm-hmm. I I just feel like you you have Harkness, like you've got Catherine uh, Hanna, who is a great actress, and like she's coming back for a spin-off show, and I think you could easily have her in this movie. And, like, yeah, I think I, I, think yeah. I would have preferred if they had just like had the Darkhold be that like, like puppet master. Mm. Like, okay. Just have the dark hold be like a very corrupting influence, and then that like would explain why this Wanda is so different. And I, I think this is the explanation that they tried to give in the movie. They just didn't like spend the time to like justify it with like the narrative weight that it would that like it should have. No. Yeah. Like, <sighs> yeah. Um. It's like the movie assumed we didn't 
really care about Wanda's emotions and that we like wouldn't ask that many questions if they were just like, oh yeah, and she's evil now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I just feel like it was no, there was no coronation between the Wanda Vision crew or or even the Loki team either. Well, like, well the the screenwriters, the guy that wrote Loki. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. Wild. Yeah, I yeah I I I forgot about that part. Um, yes, but I I I, I think. Right now, I feel like because the Loki stuff is going to be pay off more in Ant Man three, which now it makes me kind of like, okay, that's so weird. Like you think mm -hmm. Doctor Strange will be the one we will get more of the you Loki think stuff. The one with the multiverse in the title would get <laughs> yeah be related to the show about the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and not a, a low tier character that we barely got into with. It's cosmic thing, and like it, it, we even mean understand its logic <laughs> in, two, in, the, in the first two films. It's like I, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm just baffled at the the creative decision on this. Um, but yeah, um, so like I, I so like like I, I, I think all of this is saved by Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Olsen. I think she did such a great job. For me yeah, to her like, performance is so good. Yes, I I will I will say when she, uh, when Travis opened the portal to the 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 Earth um eight three eight right, mm -hmm. um, and and she sees the you know the boys and that is my favorite moment of her performance. Like mm -hmm. it was just crushing for to see her just being this like crazy emetic person and then mm -hmm. she's just trying to be a good mother and try to be where boys and then just and i love the moment when the variant wanda comes to her and like um i didn't hear what she say do you know what she say uh, yeah she says no they will be loved yeah, yeah. okay which was great uh, yeah, yeah. It, great like just a great way to wrap around Wanda's arc, what she mm -hmm. really wants in life, and 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 right. and you know, I don't like the way we uh, redeem her, but I like how she made the choice to like destroy the dark hole and everything. And uh, yeah, I yeah, I thought that was good. I think it would have been better if that was a result of them like really discussing how she was doing that stuff because the dark hold had like corrupted her and like twisted her mind to make her like more willing to go after her like darker impulses in getting her kids back mm -hmm. but yeah um they didn't do that so yeah. instead yeah, yeah. that yeah. seems just like yeah okay cool <laughs> I, I really hope that that's not the last we see of Wanda because I want them to continue with her uh, and fix I, the mistakes they made in this movie. Yeah, um, I hope that the rumors or like the the news that we got before this movie opened that she did have like a new contract, like seven movies, like a, a seven year contract, and and we hope we get like a solo film. Like I I think I want a solo Scar Witch film. Yeah, because I oh man, I just. Elizabeth Ols Olsen is so good as that character, and I really want yeah. them to give her another project like WandaVision, where it's like focused on her, and we get to really explore like the intricacies of that character in like a way that feels like it understands her. Yes, um, okay. I think just... we we are going to do that because here's the thing: I will. I want to bring up a couple of things if our audience wants to know about certain things. We mentioned the boys, obviously, at one division. And one of the things I was kind of shocked that I wasn't thinking about, we, it was kind of weird, but, you know, I wish we maybe have more discussion. Like, it's interesting that we didn't mention Vision or, like, yes. and I want to bring that up because, um, Let's be kind of honest here. Vision is not mentioned. 
Um, we get hints of him, you know, like Vision did talk about the multiverse with Wanda. Um, uh, I don't know when, but okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I guess that's he's the kind that, of thing you yeah, just like I, casually talk about with your yeah, partner. You know, I could see it, just like yeah, um, you know, talking about random like yeah, but well, and, and stuff. Yeah, it. I mean, he did mention like exhalation and like you know the Iron Man, like how Iron Man exhalated the superhero activity after he pop up into that in mm -hmm. Civil War. Like, he, he, I, I think that fit with Vision, this version. Um, yeah, so we, we didn't have Vision here, and that's like the, the plot thread that we haven't paid off, so mm -hmm. we, we still need to address that. So I think we can have a like a new miniseries, or if we ever get the Scarlet Witch solo film, we can make that into like a sequel to a Scarlet Witch film. Like the sequel could deal more vision and like them going back together. Like that has potential, you know? Mm -hmm. But but we'll see how it goes. And I do want the watching um the Wanda Vision team to come back and deal with Wanda because they're my favorite team. They handled the character than uh this team did. So yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, let's move away from Wanda, and let's get into Doctor Strange. Um, I think Ben and Carmetch did a great job playing the different versions. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I think he is, you know, he's, he's been doing this for, oh my god, like, uh, one, two, three, four, like, four times now? Or, well, five, including Thor, <laughs> Thor three. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I can't believe I, I forgot about that, because... He has the gloves. Um, anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, I think he's very comfortable with the role. And I, I, I heard some people didn't like the way he's been person, like his personality here, is from what No Way Home did. Like, did he have a problem with that, or where you're like, uh, in in No Way Home, he seemed to make a lot of mistakes. And mm -hmm. he just seemed very like reckless in a way that he isn't in other movies. Yes, I agree. Um, I I'm still in shock that he's not a sorcerer supreme. But well, I think it makes sense since he was, you know, blip. he was snapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and also it helps to like make him different from the other strangers we get in this movie. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So um. I, it did bother me, but I mean, it, it just shocked me when I heard that. I was like, "Oh, okay, we're we're going there." But by the way, I I will say it. It was it's very cool to see that come interpretation with one. Like now he's a sorcerer supreme, and I love the jokes of him. Like, uh, yeah, it's from this book <laughs> that you, the sorcerer supreme has, or like, uh, uh, what was the when. The London and the Chinese sorcerers come and they like greet one. And they will do everything for to protect Kamarshan for the source of fame. And then he say something strange. I, I don't know what, what it was, but it was funny. Mm -hmm. um, uh, was it uh, and sensory or what's this? That's what he say. I don't know. Oh my god, thinking I'm thinking what one say. Oh my god. Um, but I would say one great character. I still love him. Uh, I will, <laughs> I will never believe he will ever die because they did. They're not gonna do that. He's just this, this, this great. So, uh, but yeah. Um, but uh, uh, any anything you want to say about one? Um, will? Uh, he was alright. I wish he had more to do. I think. Yeah. Um. um I'm I'm kind of shocked I mean, we didn't have a variant of him. <laughs> I, yeah, that that's true. Like especially in the uh, Earth Illuminati H. universe. Yeah, yeah, it, it's although, weird. Yeah. Although what? <laughs> I I was gonna say like that's really the only other universe we saw. Like it's yes. the multiverse of madness, but it's it's in two different universes, and that's about it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's and then we just go to a wasteland that's just New York, really, and and the the so supposed of evil supreme whatever 
Uh, mm-hmm. They had the third eye, um, which was very uh, goofy, I would say. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, Doctor Strange, the, the main one, was really great. I, I like his relationship with Travis. I like the the theme of Are You Happy? And I, I like how that's bringing up constantly mm-hmm. in the film. And I like this thing that we do bring up, like the question of why did Doctor Strange did what he did in Infinity War? Like, was that the only choice in, like, you know, to protect the universe from Thanos and stuff like that? Like, I really like that in the storyline. And I will say, um, uh, I mean, they were not influenced by What If, but I think the the conclusion of having Palmer here again definitely helped for those themes and in the film more organically. Those were the parts that I really enjoy about the film. Mm-hmm. Um, and I actually like this Palmer, um, Christine Palmer, the variant yeah. on Earth A P A. I love her. I, 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 she was really great. Yeah, she was. I, I liked that they gave Christine a lot more to do in this movie compared to the first one. Because in the first one, she feels like an afterthought, whereas she actually feels yeah. like a, a presence in the movie here. Yes, and I, I, I again, it, they did a good job of giving. Strange an arc that was like organically, and I think this was better than what What If did, right? Because that was something mm-hmm. you had a problem with, where it was like, oh, you know, they were sending around Christine here, but then I like how here they did it more like, well, it's not Christine, it, yes, it's Christine, but it's also like, is Doctor Strange happy with the choice mm-hmm. he did, you know? And I like that conversation, and and I like how. Like, it's kind of funny we have Professor X, but I kind of like how, you know, Strange, this Strange is, like, kind of like Professor X, but in a different way. Like, he's trying to help Chavez, and, like, I, I like the relationship between him and Chavez in this film. Um, and let's get into, you know, American Chavez, but I, I really enjoyed their chemistry as, a, like, a, a team, and I think uh, she was, you know, pretty good in this film. I like her powers use. Um... But I I don't need her like she like couldn't control it and like why we need to do that storyline really yeah and it wasn't consistent yeah like like, like, like it, they say it's every time that she like gets scared and then that one scene where they're um, running from Wanda underneath the Illuminati uh, yes bunker. America, like, shrieks at one point because she's scared of Wanda and nothing happens. Yes. Like, that's the biggest reaction she has in the entire movie, but there's no, like, um, consequence from her powers being out of control. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's always going to be a problem when you do something like using emotions into a power and mm-hmm. like it's going to be very inconsistent yeah because um, what's actually going to happen is the writer's just going to be like and now she gets scared because i need them to travel to this location yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's yeah it's it's too crazy and then and the, yeah and then like she punched the the glass and like she so she was like oh my god my powers activate that way i was like uh like uh, I don't know, like, there should be a difference between fear and adrenaline. I think that, like, it should be more like the adrenaline after breaks her powers, but whatever. Um, but what do you, what do you thought about the actress, uh, Megan Chavez? This is her first role, actually, and I, I think she did a, 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 a okay job, I would say. She's okay, yeah. Yeah. I There were a lot of performances in this movie that didn't really land for me. Oh yeah. Um besides Chavez, who else? Uh the worst know. offender was um John Krasinski. <gasps> oh okay. Oh, man. okay. Every line he gave felt like he was like just there to cash a check. Like cash in a check. Okay. He did not care. Um yeah. yeah. Oh man. He sounded so bored. I um like <laughs> n- none of his lines worked for me. 
Yeah, I. I wish I, they just gotten the guy from the the original Fantastic Four movies back. Oh my God, I uh, I your golf? Yes, please. I I yeah. thought for the longest they're gonna get that or Myers Tyler, right? Like from the Fan Four Stick oh, film. Yeah, but I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, so. that's true. I mean, but we could have it. It could have been funny. He got killed. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> I, I could have been happy, but, yeah, so, yeah, I, so, the Illuminati, let's kind of get into that, um, little sticky thing, um, mm. I mean, we, I mean, when they teased the Professor X, I knew it was, like, the Illuminati, and, yeah, I, I was um, annoyed that they showed that in the trailer, though, I would have been way more excited if it just, like, happened. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I still got, some, like, I, I got very excited when Black Bolt showed up. Yes, uh, I, I was not expecting him. I wasn't expecting um, anything that Kevin Feige touched to ever reference the Inhumans ever again. Yeah. Um, so I was very happy to see uh, the King of the Inhumans. Yes, but... and he looked great in his combo book accurate suit. Mm -hmm. And oh my god! And. It, it, and then his yeah. death was like, oh my god. Yeah, that it's was just, the only thing that like really terrified me in the movie. Yeah, his mouth being <laughs> just, yeah. just close up. Oh my god, I was like, and, and then the and the, and the explosion of the what was it like the right brain or left was like 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 it almost like flat like like a balloon. <laughs> it was like, oh yeah, my god, oh, I hated that. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it hated that in like a. It worked as a horror thing, kind of way. Mm. Um, not like I thought it was bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that one shocked me. I was like, I think I, I thought they were just pulling a lake from Black Bull, and I was like, oh no, that is Black Bull. <laughs> um, uh, who else? I was kind of shocked to see. Um, I mean, like, everyone else, I think, had been spoiled at some point. Yeah, by, Captain like, Marvel. Marketing. Yeah, um, Captain Marvel, that one was a little sticky. A lot of people thought it was, like, Superior Iron Man, or... Mm, or yeah. Yeah, but it, it I'm glad seemed... that it wasn't. Yeah, that's true. Um, but, I mean, they were considered either it was, um, uh, Tom Cruise, which, that could have been crazy, but we'll see. Um, I mean, um, and uh, speaking of, uh, Mr. Fantastic, I heard... Like, like in a very really gossip way, or rumor mill, that Daniel Craig was supposed to be Mister Fantastic, and they couldn't mm. just like because of the COVID and and like just just not risking to travel, you know all that. Um, that could have been an industry casting for him to be Mister Fantastic. Um, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I I I, I do like the line that Strange Day too. Fantastic Four, uh, like, like, oh, what was it? You from the sixties? Like, uh, <laughs> didn't you chart in the sixties? He had charted in the sixties. Yeah, <laughs> like, how you? Like, first of all, he's not from the sixties. He's like futuristic. <laughs> uh, well, I'm. Yeah, I mean, there were a few like elements to that joke. I think uh, one is that like the Fantastic Four debuted in the sixties. Yeah. Also, I think there was like in the in the first movie, Doctor Strange is like when we first meet him, he's like able to name songs and like the year that they uh, came out. Oh. I, I think there okay. was like a very like a one hit wonder band in the sixties called the Fantastic Four. Oh, that's I didn't know that. That's like because the music fight I. Th like was more like in the first film of him knowing about music and its timeline. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I didn't think about that. That's I didn't know that. Yeah. That's kind of cool. They did that. Okay, and, that makes and sense. And then also, I know um, at one point, um, Peyton Reed, the director of the Ant Man films, has talked about wanting to do a Fantastic Four movie and like coming yes. up with an idea for a plot that would have them. Uh, start in the 60s and then get caught in the um, the negative zone and come oh, out wow. in modern day. Oh, wow. Like, almost like Captain America. Like, like yeah. 
oh wow that's actually a cool idea for for them that's actually neat yeah um if anyone knows what will's talking about um before the 2005 version um uh, fantastic four directed by tim story you know there were a lot of you know developments of trying to get the ff back, uh off the ground to be in the big screen and one of them of course included pen and we of course the director of Ant-Man films and uh yeah i i i heard only the part about the 60s like he wanted to make it the 60s and obviously it didn't yeah didn't got off ground either which is sad and uh and he made like a movie that was focused on the 60s so so it's cool wow i didn't know that other part about transferring into the modern day that's kind of cool um do you think that we're going to see john consisting back because that's another thing people are questioning like i i mean he was the only actor for the illuminati that wasn't like that hadn't already played a version of that character so i think it, it would make sense for him to show up again yeah. in the fantastic four movies and i know like for years there have been fan castings of um him and emily blunt as yes. mr fantastic and yeah. the invisible woman so yeah um we don't know if that's gonna happen but i mean i don't see emily blunt doing it because she made it very clear that she didn't want to take it but we'll see i mean marvel i mean they're very good at getting these big stars anyway i mean i was shocked to see charlie starring in the film so <laughs> and it can happen um but yeah and then uh, i mean of course professor x i want to talk about that because uh i was geeking out about the x-men theme uh mm -hmm. yeah and, that was nice to hear yeah oh my god and the chair <laughs> mm -hmm. the little chair i can't believe we actually did it in a live action film which was great um yeah and, and you know it was neat to see captain carter um in live action i think it was yeah. very neat um, I was very glad that it was different from the What If version. I yes. can continue pretending that What If isn't canon. No. Nope. Uh, and, <laughs> yep, I agree. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, it, yeah, it's kind of crazy how this film, like, is similar, but, like, it's very different from what happened with What If. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess, um, so Speaking of the Illuminati, it was very interesting to, s to hear that Doctor Strange, th their version, being very corrupt of the Dark Hold, and I feel like that was maybe the reason they didn't want to explain that with Wanda is that they were going to explain that to with the that version of Strange. But like, again, we didn't like. Yeah, I, see that corruption. We were just told that it happened. Yeah, and I I feel like that was very like like. A very un like uncalculated move to do that. Like you should stick with Wanda to be con uncontrolled and not use a version of Strange to explain that. You know. Mm -hmm. So I I just I was just thinking about like well they did explain that but it was with the other Strange and I was like I don't know why but so mm -hmm. so start speak of that um. It, um, I was just shocked that we killed the Lumen Ani. I will s I will say it's not the last time we're gonna see them, so this was a good tease of them and what we can expect them, but we'll see. Um wh what's your feeling about getting the numbers of the Earths? Because we did mention it, like it's Earth eight three eight and then officially the MCU is six one six. Yeah. I mean we we've had a few hints towards 616 and i think it makes sense that the main uh cinematic continuity would have the same number as the main comics continuity okay okay uh yeah. just, How, what I, do you feel about it um i like it i just wish we didn't have a joke about it before we got it officially because we made a joke out of it in um in barn from home which I don't remember saying it's Earth one uh, six one six, but of course that was Mysterio saying that he's from the Earth. But um, yeah, well, you know, I mean, we also there is a hint. There was like a little Easter egg for it in um, Thor: The Dark World. I think Loki 
had like a brief mention of six one six at oh. some point. I think I think these are like background things. Like I know Thor the Dark World. It's like when Selvig was talking about the uh, conjunction or whatever they called it. He had six one six conversion. Uh, oh, he had six one six on the chalkboard. Oh, and then, okay. Um, in uh, Loki, I think on some like paperwork on the TVA that they had a close up of, it mentioned six one six. Yes. Um. When Sylvie dropped the time bombs, like you saw some of like the Earth's names. I that mm-hmm. was like the first time we did that. I in episode two, like towards the end, towards the end of episode two of Loki. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um. Yeah. Um, okay, so then that then that's that's fine. I think that was uh, okay. Um, uh, just yeah. You know, I, I mean, I just I'm I'm kind of like used to not naming this herbs now, but now I have to now I have to do it now in the movies. Ugh, that's not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So okay, so um, we um we mentioned a couple times of um, uh, Mordor. Um, in the film, uh, Master uh, Baron Mordor, um, mm-hmm. I want to talk about that. I think uh, Ch- uh, Chivio, um, I can't see his name. Uh, oh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Yes, um, he's still great. I still love him. He's he's a really great actor. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think we really need him in this film. I feel like we just, I, I think the the big complaint I would say. I feel like we didn't need him. I feel like we could have more screen time with Juan and Chavez and some other characters that was more focused than him. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like we just have him here to remind, like, who was the arch enemy for Doctor Strange. Like, it was that typical combo thing. It's like, you don't have to do that. It's like, just save him for the third film, you know? And um, he was great, but I, again, I, I would say another nitpick was, like, how do you know that this version did hate your version of Strange? It's like, like how like I get he's trying to escape from the cops, but like it was just so like how did that version of Strange know that like this version of Master Baron like hated Strange, you know? Like that's weird. Mm-hmm. Like I, I didn't like that. And so um I feel like he was unnecessary for this film, uh Baron here, this version. 'Cause and, and we knew he was a variant, so like why we need it? So I just I feel like yeah. he was unnecessary for this film. Um, what do you think? I, I've heard rumors that there is a cut scene in which um, the like original Baron Mordo confronted Wanda and she killed him. Really? Okay. Um, and I think they should have kept that in the movie because that that way you get to like explain what. Mordo's been up to in the seven plus years between films, and also you can use that to show how Wanda mm. has like become corrupted. Like make that the scene that you show instead of having, or either instead of having that like twist and like twist moment right. where she reveals that she's the villain, or have like a flashback to that later. But mm. I feel like that would have really solved a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now, like, I, I feel like the reason they didn't, they want to do it was to, you know, they want to keep a version in their main timeline because, yeah, mm-hmm. there was, like, there's potential to develop the relationship, and the fact that we didn't do it in this film, just, you know, um, I, I, it's, it's tough because if, if you kill him in the main line, it was like, you don't, like, I don't know if they were gonna, gonna show it, like, it probably just, tell it off screen, you know? Like, I... Uh, I mean, I would hope they would show it, but you never know with this movie. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm just very curious what was the original like, idea of, of Multiverse of Madness with Scott Derrickson. Um, I know it was going to be a horror film, but like, I don't think it was enough for me to like, see why he leaves, because, I don't know. Um, I, I just... Yeah, there's a lot of missed opportunities and then just ideas I wish we have more to focus on in this film. 
Like, I kind of wish we had more versions of other characters. Like, I mentioned one. I really wanted more, I think, from Wanda. And, and I get Travis not having versions. But, I don't know. Like, I think we should have seen more versions of variants, versions of our characters, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, they didn't really have that much fun with the multiverse concept. No, like, and I will say my biggest problem that they, I think there was a misconcession, or just, I feel like they shouldn't have changed the title of Multiverse of Madness to something else. Yeah, they they didn't really explore the multiverse, and it wasn't that mad. Yeah, like, <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's, yeah. uh, yeah, it felt like more like the Doctor Strange, the multiverse, like, the parallax review. <laughs> Or something like that. I I don't know. Uh, or like, oh, Doctor Strange, the Marathon Man. So that could work. Um, but yeah. So um, okay. So let's get into other um, uh, conversation. Uh, what what other ones that we haven't discussed? Um, for this se the second film. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Um, oh, I. It was cool to see Doctor Strange in the, the 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 dead body of Doctor Strange. I thought that, that was, was really cool. oh my god, it was so great. And then seeing him using the dead spirits to be his cape was yeah. really a great idea. I thought that was awesome. Um, I didn't think that was really cool. And it was just funny to see him talking to Travis in this zombie version of himself and like telling her to control herself with her powers. You know. Mm -hmm. That was like it was both heartwarming and funny at the same time. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, I I want to mention the the score. Um, I thought the score from Delhi Afma was really great. I like that he called back some of the themes mm -hmm. for each character. Um, I think the this new version he came up with this film actually fit in the film, and it was memorable. I I really enjoy it. Um, I dug in the main tiles. It was really great. Um, uh, I think this definitely top tier score for me. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and then, um, we'll, we'll get into, um, what else that was, uh, trying to figure out, is there anything else we have to discuss besides the post credit scenes? Um, um, I'm so I'm just looking at my notes to see what else we had to discuss. I can't think of anything. Yeah, I think we covered everything. Um yeah. Well and we discussed Christy Palmer, I thought she was great. So mm -hmm. um yeah. I um I think it was a good tie knot to the characters, um, relationship in the MCU, so, mm -hmm. so that was good. Um, I will say, uh, let's, I think we can wrap things up, uh, so let's get into the post credit scenes. Um, do you enjoy them, Will? Um, like, I uh, I mean, I, the Cleo one, I'm, like, excited to see where that goes. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the last one I can take or leave. I loved it. I actually loved the second post credit scene. It was just funny. Yeah. Just like his hands up and like it was like very much Evil Dead too for me. And and, and then he like breaks the fourth wall and it's like it stop and like he look at the camera. It was so funny. Oh, that yeah. was hilarious. Uh, I love the Bruce Campbell cameo. That was really great. Yeah, I thought Doctor Strange just like casually torturing that guy for three weeks was a weird choice. Oh, uh... like, yeah, <laughs> this hero is going to Push like, fail. completely torture this random guy that, like, didn't want them to steal from him. Wait, and that's well, going to be played for laughs. Well, 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 well first off, Travis say it was, like, the whole universe food was free. And then... No, no, no. She oh, assumed it was free, and then it wasn't. <laughs> and then they got mad when he wanted money for the food that he made. I don't know. 
I am sticking with the heroes. I think this is no, false. It, they falsely advertise. If you say they free didn't, food, it, no, they didn't say free food. <laughs> America said most of the universes she go to, the food is free, so she assumed it would be the case here too. Right, and then it wasn't. Right, right. And then the guy wanted money for the goods that he sells. Yeah, but and he's... then Doctor Strange responded by making him hit himself for three weeks. That's not <laughs> funny. That's like a really cruel thing to do, and it was played for laughs. That's yes, messed up. I know. Uh, but I mean, I mean, that's a that's a good point. It's very ethical. Uh, but I'm sorry, I had to take the unethical way of being funny. So, <laughs> um, but I didn't think it was funny. Yeah. Um, I doubled down on it. Yeah, I, I'll be fine if the hand just slapped him, but, like, I didn't need, like, um, the hand grabbing his head and then, like, pushing in the, to the, like, the steel thing, whatever, for that, like, piece right of... Right onto the grill, yeah. Yeah, like, like we don't need that. Like, I, I think the slap could have been a better comedic timing, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It felt like the kind of thing where, like, it's only funny if you don't think about it at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like if you think about it, it's really messed up. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah, um, but yeah, but no one's gonna think about that uh, at the call. Yeah, thought about it. <laughs> well, In yeah, the theater, that... I thought about it. Yes. Uh, well, that's you, Will. That's you. <laughs> you're you're a poor, you're a very spirited man who thinks very clearly and realistic. <laughs> um. But yeah, um, I mean, some people like it and don't like it. So I mean, it's it's like fifty fifty. So, so um, but yeah, and and um, uh, piggyback the post credit scene. I like Clea, but again, I felt like it, it like it just rushed into like the plot line of mm -hmm. like the next film that you know we're gonna get for the third Doctor Strange, maybe. But I I feel like we shouldn't take more time. Here's the thing. So we'll we'll get into like my biggest nitpick of this film is the pacing. I feel like it was, yeah. it was way too fast. Like, I was so shocked that we got into way right away in the film and then, okay, we come back to the, the, the main strange and then, like, okay, we have a, you know, a slow and quiet moment with him and Palmer and the wedding and then all of a sudden we just go back into action and it was a good scene. Um, And it, it just moves quickly. I, I like Superhero, film, uh, superhero films not to be too long, but like you need a very good like two hours or so to tell your story. Like I like the way X Men First Class and Days of Future uh, Days of Future Past times were because they were clock in two hours and they tell their story very pack, but in a very efficient way. I like that way. Here it was just bam, bam, bam. Like actor, action, information, and then exposition, and then we slowed down a little bit, and then went back to the fast pace. And it's just like, like it was, it was crazy. We got to the third act quickly, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like the pacing was really too fast, and I feel like we needed more time to deal with the concept of multiverse and and just overall other character development for characters, you know. Mm -hmm. And and then I want to mention the other thing was the script. Like, there's some dialogue that is very corny and just did not work. Like, I I, I don't know. Like, I don't have one in mind. But, like, I, I feel like the, the script here was very messy. The character's dialogue was just not good. And just, I, I think there should have been another draft to do to make this film be more tightly cohesive and just focus and mm -hmm. I feel like this one did, didn't have that uh, that very good focus there was just a lot of things they had to do unfortunately yeah. so yeah um, any more thoughts on Dr. Strange uh, into the multiverse of madness Will? Um, I don't know I, it really felt like a miss for me like mm. If it feels like they had a lot of like really good ingredients in there, and they just weren't sure what to do with them. I agree. Really disappointing. Yeah. Um. I will not say that it was not disappointing, but I will say it's mid-tier, uh, MCU film for me. 
I don't think it's top ten. I I enjoy it more than the first film. Um, I I do like the first film, but I for me right now, I just want a solo Doctor Strange film. Um, I think it's not as bad as the first two Thor films, but I think this Strange needs like a director that gives him direction and just overall confidence of the character. I mean, he is the focus of the film here, but I like I I just want just him one, um, Clea like like. And, and then Baron as well. And then don't have the MCU be any factor of the film. Because one of the things I like about the the new shows, particularly Moon Knight, I want it to be self-contained. And I feel like this just didn't feel like self-contained. I, I yeah, just... it, it feels like the MCU's like becoming a little too big. Yeah. Like, it's... Everything feels like it has to reference other properties, and nothing feels like it's like standalone. So when you watch one thing, it feels like you're just watching like part of something instead of like a finished like individual product, um, which isn't as satisfying uh, ultimately. Yeah, um, I I think they're just lacking focus of this phase, like the first three phases. Like mm -hmm. the first three phases, you have focus where right. they're trying to build up, and I just don't know where they're trying to build up. You know, like it seems like they're doing Secret Wars, but like we're just not there yet, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so yeah. So not you know. Um, I highly recommend watching the film. I think it was a good theater experience. Um, but don't expect too much about this film. I think the film was just a great entertainment film that you know delivered the action and thrills and um but it doesn't do anything like what knowing home or what the batman did like like i i still think this year the batman was the best comic book movie and i just feel like this was second so uh i mean those, those have been the only two right uh I mean, I'm not matching Morbius. <laughs> I mean, Morbius is. Oh the, right, yeah. Yeah, the, it yeah. came out this year. Uh, well, I'm last not month. That either. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Really yeah. Forgot uh, about it. Um. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely the Batman, yeah. and then this. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh. Which is. Uh. You know. So. Um. But I mean, I'm excited for Thor: Love and Thunder. Um. The mm -hmm. trailer looked great. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, so thank you, Will, for joining me today for this Spectacular Spoiler cast. Yeah, thank you. Yep, and uh, next week uh, you want to do The Avengers, the first film? Uh, sure. The, yep, let's do that because uh, this month was his 10th anniversary, which is crazy. It is crazy. Oh, my God. So, oh, my God, 10 years since that film came out. That's amazing. Uh, right. Well... Thank you, everyone, for listening to this podcast. Me and Will will be back for next week, of course, for another spectacular podcast, of course, on the first Avengers film. So enjoy this uh, po uh, podcast on Doctor Strange 2 when it will be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, have a good weekend, you guys, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.